my favorite movie, Back to the Future, George McFly said something profound. He said, if you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. I'm going to do a demonstration today that is going to support George McFly's claim that if you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. To do this demonstration, I'm going to ask Alex and Michelle to come on up here. So give them a big round of applause. Come on, guys. Now, we actually just met before the break. Alex, why don't you come stand here, and Michelle, you on this side. Now, you guys, we, we just met, correct? You have no idea what you're going to do, right? I just, I picked them. I thought they look like they'd be good for this, so we have not prearranged anything. I just want to make that clear again. Is that right? Okay, perfect. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have you look at these coins. These are half dollars. Check them out. Alex and Michelle are going to help blindfold me. And so for this entire demonstration, I'm going to be blindfolded. But it's really important that you know that I can't see. So we're going to do what I call a thorough blindfolding. And those coins are the first things that are going to go over my eyes. So make sure they're legit, right? There's no holes drilled in them. They're not rubbery, nothing, no TV screens on them or anything where people are feeding me messages, right? Okay, perfect. Now, this is a blindfold right here. What I want you to do is hold it up to the light and make sure you cannot see through the blindfold, Michelle. And also, look through the other side or try to look through the other way because some people afterwards come up and they say, okay, Devin, that was a one-way blindfold whatever that means. <laughs> so does everything look okay? Okay, perfect. Now at all times, make sure that everybody over here can see me okay, Michelle. All right, now you're, you're going to be the duct tape guy because we have to keep those coins in place. So you'll see there's about, uh, I don't know, 10 pieces of duct tape there. So go ahead and just grab the first one and hand it to me. And every time you hand me one, you get the next one ready. Got it, Alex? Great job. Okay, hand me the first coin. The first coin goes on the first piece of tape. Notice that I put it near the top. The reason I do that is because I don't want the tape to get in the hair. Here we go. I hear people going, oh, no, ow. All right, it doesn't hurt yet. It hurts when it comes off. All right. Second coin goes on the second piece of tape. Goes right here. I'll see you all in a few minutes. Oh, and before I forget, is it name tag Frederico? Okay, come this way for me. I'm going to give you something before I go completely sightless here. I want you to take this. Dude, my depth perception is really screwed up right now. I need you to reach. There you go. Just messing with him. Okay. Had to play with you a little bit. All right, here we go. Second eye. I'll see you all in real soon. Awesome. Starting to look like a superhero. Cool. Put it there, Alex. Hook it up. I actually do this on airplanes when I'm trying to go to sleep. <laughs> totally works, too. People do not talk to you when you look like this. <laughs> All right, at this point, I'm going to take the blindfold from you, Michelle. I have a really important job. You're going to push down that tape really tight. Make sure that it is sealed on my face all the way around. Yeah, get, yeah, get the ears. That's right. Get up in the nose. Yeah, pinch it, girl. It's like a facial. Great. All right. Very good. Hold the microphone real quick. Make sure the coins are still in place, Michelle. <laughs> good job. Okay. All right, Alex, we're almost done. This goes here. This one goes here. And now you're probably wondering, well, what does he need one more piece for, right? Well, this last piece is probably the most important. Uh, it is uh, for the people who think maybe, that even though I can't see through my eyes right now, maybe I can see through my nose. I don't need this piece. You think it'd just go away, don't you? Alex, take it for me. There you go. This last piece is to prove that I am not using schnozvij. All right, I'm going to need a little bit of help, Michelle. Just make sure. Yeah, get in there. You don't have to do that. All right, thank you very much. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do right now is take off my watch in case somebody thinks that, you know, maybe I'm using, like, a camera or something. So that's going to go away. Also, I want you guys to look inside my ears. Make sure there's nothing in there. I don't want you to think that there's somebody here working with me, feeding me messages. See, I get in real close. Wave, say hello to each other. Nothing inside there, right? All right, and, and go ahead and pat me down. Nothing strapped to my body. No electrodes or anything, correct? You done? Okay, all right. 
Cool. So I'm going to get my mind warmed up. We're talking about putting your mind to it, accomplishing more. I want you to go like this for me, Michelle. Don't punch me. Just go straight out. There you are. All right. With this hand, okay, this hand only, not your left hand, I want you to, um, after you think of a number from one to five, then you're going to stick up the number with this hand. So if you think of one, it's going to look like this. Two. Are you with me or do we need to keep going? Three. Okay. Don't do this stuff like three, two. You know, that, that messes me up. Keep in mind I can't see. All right. Don't kick me while I'm down. Uh, you're there, right? Okay, make a number, and when you have it, say, I got it. I got it. Okay, don't move a muscle. I'm going to tell you what the number is. Here we go. Little sound effects. The timing could not have been better on that. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> okay, everybody, please be very quiet. Shh, it's coming to me. Is it four? Yes, right here. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that, that was a joke. Oh, where are you? Right, that was a joke. I was making sure you're, you're in good position. Stay there, girl. Yeah, do, do those fingers again. I like how they were straight up. Good, some people go out when I do this, and then nobody can tell what the number is. So up was good. Make a fist. We're going to do it again. Make another number and say, I've got it. Ooh, two. Yeah, but you know what? I was still cheating. Raise your hand if you knew I was still cheating. Okay, now who's raising their hand for a blindfolded guy? They're doing it, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. You, d you did it too? Yes. <laughs> Love this guy. Okay, you know, I could actually tell by the movement of the muscles in her hand. In fact, I want everybody to try this with me. Okay, empty your hands. If you're holding a pen or a water or, I don't know, a baby, just drop it. And hold your fist out like this and grab your wrist and make different numbers. Okay, this takes a great amount of practice. But yes or no, can you, he can you feel the difference between those uh, numbers? Absolutely. All right. We're going to do it again. This time I'm not going to touch your hand and I'm not going to touch your wrist. I'm just going to hover. So whenever you're ready, you make a number and say, I've got it. It, it can be the same or it can be a repeat. It really doesn't matter. Got you got it? Is it three? Yeah. Sweet. Make a fist. Do it again. Let's make sure I didn't just get lucky because I could have. Make a fist. Do it again. Say, I got it. Got it. There, deja vu on that one. Three again? Make a fist. Let's do it one more time. Make sure, uh, you know, I, I'm ready to move on here. This is just a warm-up. Whenever you're ready, do it and say, I got it. Bless you. Is it just, it's either two, I'm going to say one. Is it one, low number? One. Thank you very much. I'm going to move on while I'm ahead. All right. We're going to take this up a notch. What I need from you guys uh, in the audience, are you guys ready to help out? Okay. First of all, I need, uh, I need some cash because I have to be able to get home, okay? So uh, if you have a bill, I want you to get out your cash, okay? It doesn't matter if you have it's a 5, a 10, a 15, a 20, whatever. Just get something out. If you have multiple bills, just get one out. Don't say how much it is. And then uh, also I want something uh, other than cash, okay? I need something uh, random that you've brought with you, something in your purse, something in your pockets. The bigger the better. That way everybody in the room can see it. So Alex, this is your job. You're going to look for cash. You, you might see a dozen bills in the air. I want you to grab just one. From anywhere. Does that make sense? Okay, so whenever you're ready, you go grab cash. Now, Michelle, you're going to grab the random object, all right? And make this quick, guys, okay? So go ahead, get a cash, get a piece of cash in the Michelle. When you see something interesting in the air, I want you to go get it. Are you with me? Okay. Uh, Frederico, where are you? You're right here in the front row? Okay, am I pointing in your uh, general direction? Okay, do you have that piece of paper and the marker? Okay, this is what I want you to do. I want you to get, uh, I want you to get an image in your mind. Something that you can draw on that piece of paper. Now, it has to mean something to you, okay? Don't just, don't just draw a letter or a number or a circle or something like that. Think of something you can draw in about a minute. Make it really, really, really big. The bigger, the better. That way, everybody can see it again. And um, you're going to do this after you, uh, of course, open the paper up because I hand it to you all folded up. So open it up, uncap the marker, start drawing, all right? Are we clear? Okay, all right, Alex. Whoa, dude like a ninja over here. I, I swear I didn't hear a thing. Did you grab cash? You did. Put it in your pocket. Okay. And then I'm, I, I'm, I don't hear anything else. So I'm, I'm assuming is Michelle up here? Okay. Hi. How you doing? I just winked at you, but you wouldn't know that, huh? Did you grab an object? Hold it underneath of my hand. Do not touch it to my hand. Let me know when it is there. Okay. Now people say, okay, hold on a second here. Maybe he could guess numbers right on her hand, but how could he possibly guess an object? Let me just tell you how this works. Things pop into my mind, okay? Sometimes I get colors, sometimes shapes. 
what gets really weird is sometimes I'll get a taste. Like sometimes uh, people will bring candy up and I'll taste M&Ms or Skittles. And then what's really weird is when I experience emotions. One time someone brought a stress ball up and I started sweating. So I piece all these things together in my mind and then I'm usually able to narrow down what the object is. Right now I can tell you I get a strong color and a strong smell. The color, for some reason to me, and the smell are associated. Like you would think that this color smells this way. Uh, we've, it's, not a, it's not a pleasant smell. It is an unpleasant aroma. Um, I get the sense this, this object, too, I, I, in my mind, I picture it near the ground. It's near the ground. It's a kind of a, I, w- I was going to say blue uh, earlier, but now it's, it's kind of changed into a green in my mind. It's, it's a green. This is something that I believe that is worn on the body. If it's near the ground, I'm going to say the foot, a sock, a shoe, uh, perhaps. Um, but very light. I'm feeling light as a feather here. Like this thing is, is not heavy. It could possibly even float. So I'm going to say something you wear on your foot. Now just tell me, Michelle, so I know if I'm on the right track. Am I on the right track? Okay, perfect. Are we working with something associated with summer? Because I'm, I'm smelling suntan lotion. I'm feeling the heat of the sun. I'm feeling sand between my toes. In fact, I'm feeling sand between my toes. Even if I'm imagining wearing this, it must be some sort of water type shoe, a, uh, a croc, a sandal, a flip-flop, something like, am I close? Okay, I like the energy I get from you when I say flip-flop. Are we working with some sort of lime green uh, flip-flop? F- female, possibly? It's, no, this is, no, this is, this is from a male. Fr- from a male? A dude who wants to be a girl, apparently, because I'm telling you, getting a strong, strong sense of, uh, I, I want to say, that I'm, I'm seeing it, is it, a, is it a, the left flip-flop? No, then wait a minute. It would be the right flip-flop. Thank you very much. Go ahead and give that flip-flop back. You can have a seat, Michelle. Give her a big hand. Nice work. Okay, Ferdinand, have you drawn a picture? Okay, I want you to focus, focus on this picture. Uh, this is, I, I, for some reason I'm seeing, this is like a bird's eye view of some object, correct? You've drawn your, you haven't drawn yourself like looking down on something? You have. That's a bird's eye view, Ferdinand, okay? Like bird's eye view, up top. <laughs> just, hey, we learned something at TED Talks, don't we? All right. Um, <clears throat> I'm just messing with you, bro. I have been the whole time. I love you. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm sensing a ball. I'm hearing crowd, crowd uh, cheers and clapping, yelling, some people who are angry, uh, loud noises. Does this mean anything to you, Fernando? Am I saying your name right? Frederico. You changed it on me. All right. <laughs> We're working with a, with a sport here, a sport arena of some sort. Football, base, uh, no, soccer, a soccer field. I'm seeing goals and I'm seeing the, the lines. Is that right? You, you've drawn a picture of a soccer field. Bring me the paper. Put it in my hands. I don't know which way it goes, but uh, yeah? Yes? Soccer field, everybody? Thank you very much. Thank you. There you go, man. Appreciate it. All right. Hey, Alex, what I would like for you to do is hand me that $20 bill that I know you have in your pocket. How'd I do? Is that it? Okay, the person who this $20 bill came from, I'm going to tell you something really weird about it. I want you to focus on what you think it looks like right now. It's a picture of a dead guy on here. Am I right, Alex? That's weird, isn't it? Okay, what I want you to do is, is take it for me. Uh, oh, by the, by the way, uh, the person who it came from, uh, what did, what, tell me your name. Chris, am I pointing uh, right over here in your direction? Okay, th- where, where did you, how did you come about this bill? I mean, was it change from something? Was it like pay for something? Did someone pay you back? ATM. Okay, tell me something. Uh, where, where was the ATM exactly? Student Union. Okay, and when did this transaction take place? <laughs> Last week. Okay, here's what I'm going to try, something really crazy. I want you to locate the serial number for me. Okay, I'm going to try to tell you what it is. Chris's $20 bill, Alex chose it at random. People are going, no way. There's no way this is going to happen. But see, here's the deal. Sometimes people put limitations on us because they don't believe in us. They don't believe that we can do what we want to do. They don't believe in our dreams. And sometimes we listen to those voices, and we adapt that mentality, and we limit ourselves. But remember what George McFly said. If you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. 
I want you to tell me, do the first two letters, it, does it start with an I, then an A? Yes, so everybody could hear. Yes. Uh, and, and then two numbers that are the same, three and three. Yes. Uh, then an eight and a six. Yeah. Uh, followed by the, uh, the six is a zero. Yes. Uh, eight, eight, five. Yep. Last letter, is it a C? C. Excuse me? It is a C. Thank you. I think I have earned that $20. <laughs> nice. Okay, give that back to Chris. Alex, you can have a seat. Give Alex a big round of applause. <clears throat> and another big round of applause again for Michelle and Frederico, the soccer guy. And now it's time for the least favorite part of what I do, removing the blindfold. Who wants to help? Now I got this. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Woo. A little gift for you there, Alex. There you go, man. It's for you. All right. <laughs> Didn't know there was going to be so much risk involved, did you? Uh, got it in the widow's peak. Hold on. Do I still have eyebrows? The coins are right there. And in fact, there are some eyebrows on the duct tape. I could sell this on eBay for like 40 grand if I were Justin Bieber. Really. So there you guys have it. George McFly is right. If you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. Thank you very much.